What's up friends, fellow card collectors, card obvious here, back with another Fairfield Phonetic Friday. Today we're going to be doing a pharmacy box of baseball. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in there, maybe Topps Big or something. Probably, nope, it's Fleer, it says Fleer. So I'm guessing late 80s Fleer. Um, let's first add to the giveaway stash some of those cards I got in that pack ripped. Adam Jones, Refractor, Jordan Matthews, and a Austin Dean rookie. Of course, the best card I got out of that quick hitter on Wednesday is sitting back here on the easel. Mr. Ryan Tannehill. Looking over the Fairfield rip. So happy I got that card. Nice little swatch there, numbered out of 25. And of course, we have uh, Julio Franco the Snowman, Butte the Christmas Duck, the... Uh, Jeff Slurp Time Hippo back there, along with a uh, mini Shack Rat. <laughs> Brewers. Alright, let's go ahead and get into this. So, I ordered some cubes from Five Below. So, they have some on their website, and it's free shipping if you order eight or more, I think. Um, so, pretty good deal there to get eight cubes, and, you know, it turns out to be around like $43. So, I'll have some Fairfield cubes for future Fairfield Fanatic videos. Oops. Drop these cards. So as you can see, the front card is a Raphael Devers rookie uh, all-star game parallel. I think those are what those are called, silver all-star game. That's a pretty good card on the, the window card there. The date on this one is, sorry about the camera bump. Uh, June 26th June 26th so it is January so hopefully they are as we speak printing out packaging for new Fairfield boxes to come out this year which will be really awesome all right so our pack is 90 90 Fleer baseball 1990 Fleer maybe we'll get us a Frank Thomas or something in there let's go ahead and start going through these All right, so we have Mr. Brett Saberhagen here. Let's get the focus right. Don Robinson. Uh, John Wetland, rookie. Jeff Blauza. Todd Zeal. Billy Hatcher. There's a pinnacle of Joe Ursulak. Bob Walk, 87. Opichi Premier Yvonne Calderon. Ed Whitson. Carlton Fisk. Diamond Kings 89, Hall of Famer, Bobby Witt, Andres Galarraga, the Big Cat, 89, Willie Frazier, Bob Brower, looks like he's having a hoot there in the dugout, Darren Dalton, Darren Dalton is this a rookie, not sure that's considered a rookie or not, Darren Dalton, Rob Deere, Cocaine Keith Hernandez, 89 Fleer, Not the Good Maddox, Mitch Williams, Wild Thing, Pat Borders. This is Ken Caminetti and Jason Giambi. Interleague Showdown from Don Russ. Interesting card. We got a rookie of Tony Graffinino. Tony Graffinino's got some, a little bit of paper loss up here. We got a King of the Hill, Kevin Brown. That's a pretty cool little card there. From Don Russ. What year is this? This is 1997 Don Russ. King of the Hill. A little insert card, I believe, or and actually it might be a subset. It's numbered 431. Ray Durham Stadium Club. Will Schooler. He'll school you. Here's a 1992 The Rookies, Jim McNamara. Yarth Yorg. I think that's how you say his name. Lloyd McClendon. Had some great tirades as a manager. Here's a Mattingly. And who is that back there with him? Roberto Kelly. Interesting. Mattingly and Roberto Kelly. Upper deck. This is 93. It's a 92 Donruss. Derek Bell. Uh, 94 upper deck, I think. 93 upper deck. 93 upper deck. Billy Hatcher. 90 Donruss. Really Fraser. Chuck Carr. Top Stadium Club. Paul Assenmacher. Scott Bankhead. Joe Gray. Jim, don't call me Elvis Presley. Sean Hare. Dave Parker. 
1990. Cecil Fielder and Derek Liliquist. Derek Liliquist, 89. It's a pretty bright background. It's not a Tiffany because it's not shiny enough. All right, let's go through the next third here. Quick reminder, I am trying to fill this next break. Only six slots remaining. I'd love to get this thing ripped uh, next week at some point. Uh, hopefully on a weeknight, I'll live stream the rip so we can move on to BBGB number nine, which will actually start featuring four guaranteed hits. Domingo Ramos. Who's on here? Gary Sheffield, Edgar Martinez. There we go. Hall of Famer card on there. Edgar Martinez and Gary Sheffield, all-star third baseman. I always thought of Sheffield as an outfielder, not a third baseman. Here's a Tim Raines, 88. There's a Hall of Famer. Jeff Musselman. Fred McGriff, who I think should be in the Hall of Fame. What is it? Rick Ruschel. Here's a Cal Ripken Senior manager card, 87. Phil Bradley, Fleer. Here's a JT Riddle. Uh, feature stars Luke Weaver. Felix Jorge, rookie card. John Franco, 90 Donruss Diamond Kings. Ken O'Burkville, the Braves. Johnny Ray, Scott Bankhead. Dave Stapleton. Jason Thompson. Tom Fariser. Interesting. Denny Walling. Nice dash. Angel Salazar. Kelly Downs. Mark Langston. Tom Foley. Daryl Strawberry. Jack Lazorko. Rupert Jones. Dwight Evans. Always seems like there's a Fred Lynn or a Dwight Evans in Fairfield. Zane Smith. George Burns, not the actor, I don't believe. Old enough to be the original George Burns. Here's a Bobby Bow, 89 Donruss. Uh, I think this is... Is this the baseball best Donruss? I don't know what set that comes out of. Mike Stanley. Fred Braining. We got a Norm Hutchins, star rookie from Upper Deck. Cool looking card, but I don't know who Norm Hutchins is. It's a Jack McDowell. And a Lloyd Mosby. This box is not doing too good. A very serious lack of Hall of Famers in here. Which is what I want to see in a Fairfield or some old Fleer, Dave Ford. Shane Reynolds. There we go. Nice one here. Ozzy Smith, 82. 82 Fleer Ozzy Smith. I did not have this card, and this card is in pretty good shape. Pretty good shape. It's off center. That's a nice Ozzy Smith right there. Okay, that made this box worth it. 81 Fleer Ozzy Smith, or 82 Fleer Ozzy Smith, excuse me. I'll definitely take that. It's a nice pull right there. With Troy Hawkins for the Fort Myers Miracle. What year is this? The Troy Hawkins played forever. This is a 94 classic Latroy Hawkins. I think he retired, what, 2017? He played a long time. Mike Squires. A Red Sox leader with Boggs. And I don't know who else is on there. Who's that standing next to Boggs, Red Sox fans? Because I do not know. But, Hall of Famer card. Jim Cott. Jim Cott. This is also 82 Fleer. Not a Hall of Famer, but a lot of people believe he should be in the Hall of Fame. Scott McGregor, Jeff Parrott, Bo Diaz, Scott Geraltz, and a folded Jerry Willard. I don't know why they even put these guards in there. Fairfield, if you happen to watch this video at any time, let me give you a bit of advice. If you have any cards between, say, 84 to modern times, and it's folded in half, if it's not a Jeter rookie, or anything like that, or a Frank Thomas no name, just take the card, if it's Jerry Willard, or whoever, and just put it in the trash can. Sure, you got trash cans at your plant. Lou Whitaker. 
Who's this? Gary DeSarcina. Here's a Ray Knight with the Mets. Tony Fernandez. Teddy Hagera. Danny Tarte Bull. Another Lou Whitaker. Closing it out with some 90 Don Russ. Walt Terrell. Ernest Riles. And closing it out with Ron Guidry, 88. And this card's got a print mark on it. All right, so really the box itself wasn't that good, but one card did redeem it. Let's just do a quick recap. Some cool cards we got. Boggs on this one. This is the best pool, in my opinion. 82 Fleer, Ozzy Smith. I think that was worth the box in itself. We got Tim Raines, 88. We got this uh, All-Stars from 93 Tops, Sheffield and Edgar. Got a Carlton Fist Diamond Kings from 89 and Raphael Devers All-Star Game card. Uh, Ricky card. And this is a parallel. It's not the regular. So, pretty cool pool. I actually grabbed this box because of this Devers Ricky on top. I'm like, if I'm going to grab a box and that one's got a Devers Ricky showing, I'm grabbing that one. So, let's go ahead and see what's in 1990 Fleer. Hopefully, we get us a nice Ricky in here. This thing wasn't sealed that well. Could have been searched. Got a baseball quiz on here. Where did the Orioles play before relocating in 1954? Uh, St. Louis. Uh, during the period 1957 through 87, which team, Orioles, Yankees, or Indians, had the best winning record in the AL? 57 through 87? I'm guessing the Orioles. Since this is an Orioles card, apparently. What team did the Orioles sweep the American League Championship Series in both 69 and 70? I have no clue. Yankees? True or false? Orioles have won five world championships since moving to Baltimore. I say false. All right, what's the answers? Milwaukee and St. Louis. They were the St. Louis Browns. Orioles, I got that one right. The Twins, they beat the Twins in 69 and 70. And false, I got the last one right. They won in 66, 70, and 63. And that's why I was Baltimore focused. Nice little sticker card there. All right, let's see what cards we got in here. Candiotti. Riho, I think it's a Riho rookie. Dale Murphy, that's a good one. Chris Spire, Bob Stanley, there's a Greg Maddox, Greg Maddox Hall of Famer. Teddy Hagera, it's a Dante Bichette, not a rookie, 89 was his rookie year. Al Newman, Dean Wilkins, looks like he's a little constipated there. Frank Tanana Banana, Bruce Hurst, uh, Kelly Mann, Dave Hansen, Jose Gonzalez. And closing it out with Gino Petralli. Gino Petralli. All right. I hope you all appreciated my four -way, foray into this Fairfield Friday. I'm trying to use as many Fs as possible, but without dropping the F-bomb. Uh, appreciate you all watching. Remember, I only got six slots remaining. Really want to get that broken next week. If you're interested, it's super cheap. We have a lot of fun uh, doing those breaks with the random packs and stuff. And remember, number nine is going to feature four guaranteed hits. So... My normal sign off, this is card obvious. Remember, you can only control two things that's your thoughts and your actions. Stay positive, keep ripping them fair fields, and I'll catch you later. Peace. Tannehill says goodbye. Goodbye.